Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty space. It's a girl Katie Lakit, and today I want to shoot really interesting video, and I hope you will like it. This is one of my favorite brands, and I'm gonna use most of the products that they have to create full face makeup. If you know me, you probably guessed it right. The brand is Milani Cosmetics and this is one of my favorite drugstore brands. I think the quality of the products are really, really nice. So some of the products are my all-time favorites and some of the products are gonna be the first impression. All right, now when our face is fresh and clean, we can start. I did prime with some moisturizer, and now I want to add Milani Make It Last Original Setting Spray. It will help our makeup last longer. My makeup addiction started back in 2016, and I was watching all makeup YouTubers and one of the first YouTubers that I started to follow was Shani Grimman. She is from Australia and she would use this, cons uh, this foundation in almost every single video and she used much darker shade, so I bought her shade and I tried it on myself. I still have this YouTube video, but it was disaster because it was so yellow and so dark on me, but I was like, I want to be like her. <laughs> Uh, the formula of this foundation is so great, it is full coverage and it's creamy and it blends beautifully and let me show you how it looks on the skin. So uh, mine in the shade Nude Ivory, I'm gonna do a few pumps and I'm taking my beauty sponge, oh it might be lighter than I want but let's see how it blends. If it's slightly, slightly lighter than we need, we can always bronze it with some bronzer. But actually, it's not so bad. Like, it looks not like my neck, right? This is a full coverage foundation with like a natural finish and it's really nice for the oily skin because it's really long lasting and it will stay even in hot weather so I love this foundation and just look how it blends it does not emphasize any dryness it doesn't emphasize any texture and it covers all the redness and all the imperfections and it blends beautifully into the skin so um, by the way uh, matte foundations are not oxidizing they are drying down that's why they might change a little the shade and would go just slightly darker than it's in a tube that's why it's like it's matching perfectly right now and I'm taking it all the way to my neck so everything is blended make sure that you go all the way in your hairline so there is no shade difference and yeah, I, I absolutely love this foundation, just look how it looks, it is so gorgeous, it is so creamy and basically blurs my pores and it looks incredible. You can add more if you need extra coverage, but this looks beautiful. Next, let's apply some concealer. This concealer is from the same line, Conceal and Perfect, and I got mine in the shade Light Nude. Let's see, I have never tried this concealer, but I've heard a lot of great things about it, so let's try it together.
Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a full coverage concealer. Make sure you go right here so there is no redness showing. Wow, it blends effortlessly. Wow, guys, can you see how it blends? It's like a few seconds and you're done. And it looks so gorgeous. It definitely covers all you need. And it's like really thin on the skin. But the pigment is there. Look how bright my under eyes look. Wow. Literally, I'm obsessed. This is going to be one of the most exciting products for me because I'm trying it the first time, but I've heard so many great things about it and I'm sure it's gonna work for me perfectly. But this is a bronzing powder in a shade Sunlight 01. This is the lightest shade. And it's perfect because it's not orange and it would create natural like shades on the face. So let's try it right now. I'm a bit nervous, but hopefully I'm gonna like it. Okay. Oh wow, I love this color. It's like so natural, but it's like, it's perfect for me. Wow, this is what we need to add some warmness to the face, some dimensions. Let's draw these cheeks. Oh guys, can you see how beautiful it looks and it's not patchy. It is so gorgeous, like look at this. I'm gonna add a little bit more to contour. I'm adding a little bit on my ears, jawline. I'm going down to my neck so we look snatched. I'm adding the same shade on my nose to create some dimension and I'm putting this bronzer on my lips. Wow, this looks gorgeous. Go into your hairline. Wow, this is going to be my everyday bronzing powder because I am in love with it. It is so easy to work with. You cannot go wrong with it. It looks just incredibly beautiful. like wow i'm impressed guys so as you can see our face looks pretty matte so to make it not last longer i'm gonna spray it one more time with the finishing spray and i'm gonna work it into the skin Wow. Okay, what's next? I have a few cheap products from Milani. I have this cream uh, blush in the shade Blushing Berry, which I really, really like. And this is the new product for me. I have it in the shade Rose Romance. And this is supposed to be liquid blush, but you can use it on your lips and your cheeks. So let's try this product. Okay, this is how it looks like. Oh, this color is interesting. Let's apply it. 
Should we just use the beauty sponge? Let's try it. Oh wow, it is so pretty. Like, look at this. Okay, I go right onto the cheeks. And I'm gonna bring it all the way to my forehead. Wow, and it blends like so easy. That's why Milani is one of my favorite brands because these products they are working, they are working beautifully, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to look good. Wow, just a few touches and you're done. I had the money powder blushes but they got destroyed so I had to get rid of them but they are just beautiful and just they are absolutely incredible and I think in my personal opinion the best products from Milani are the blushes, foundation and lip products. I'll tell you about lip products later. Wow, what do you think guys? Looks so natural, so beautiful, it's not heavy at all. I was staring at this eyeshadow palette for a long time, but then I decided why not to film the video. So I got it and it's called Most Wanted Outlaw Olive. Just look at this beautiful green shade. Wow, well, let's create some look with it. Normally I would use some kind of a base, but let's just have concealer today and see how this eyeshadow performs. So I'm gonna start with this brown shade right here. With the fluffy brush, I'm gonna lightly touch the pen and put it into my crease. Should we go for like green smoky eyes or what do you think guys? What should we do? I have no idea I just go with the flow and see where we land. Okay, it blends beautifully. You definitely can build it out the color for now i'm using this shade as my transition shade that's why i barely touch the pen and i barely touch the lid wow but it creates this beautiful shade and it brings dimension into the eye I don't know, should we do like a smoky eyes? Let's see. Let's put this green shade on the eyelid. I'm hoping it's not gonna fall on our face. Okay, it's dusty in the pan, but it's pretty okay now. I'm just kind of working out the shade. I do not blend it yet, so I'm gonna get the most pigment out of it, and then I'm gonna blend the edges kind of to smooth. Lines. Okay, so far no fallout. And I'm slightly blending it. Wow, this shade is gorgeous. Okay, let's do the same on the other eye. Okay, now 
with a smaller brush. I'm taking the same brown shape and I'm gonna work it out in my crease. And I'm taking the same brush I used before, blending it one more time. So brown blends with the green. Okay, now with the clean brush, I'm taking this uh, light shade. It's matte, so I'm gonna clean this edge right here with it. This is what we have now. And the fun part is I really want to use this shimmer shade in the middle. It just picks my name. Let's watch it. Oh, it's kind of like a heart shade. So I'm gonna put it on my uh, on the center of my eyelid. Wow, can you see it guys? is so sparkly wow it is gorgeous i'm gonna do the same on this side i'm just focusing on the center of my eyelid wow look at this can you see the shine I'm taking this um, kind of greenish gold shade and I'm putting it right in the center where the light hits the eyes. Wow, it brings so much dimension into this look. I'm kind of bringing it up because I have hooded eyes and I want this yellow, um, golden yellow to be visible. Wow, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, going to the lower lash line. I'm taking same brown shade. And I'm gonna smoke out the lower lash line. Like this. This brings so much dimension to the eyes. And you could imagine if you if you would use some kind of like an eyeliner or eye base and how much brighter would it look but it it works it works on its own and now i'm taking this bronze shade and i'm gonna put it on my lower eyelid 
just where it begins, like in my inner corners. The shade is gorgeous too. So pigmented. You even don't have to wet your brush, it just works right away. It works with your finger, it works with your brush. Wow. Well, I don't have any mascara from Milani Cosmetics, that's why I use my own and I did my eyebrows off camera so we can continue with the lips. I love Milani lip products, that's why I have some lip liners, I have really beautiful plumper lip gloss, I had matte stain and I have this viral lipstick which I really really like. So I'm gonna start with lining my lips on um, this eye pen, um, lip liner in the shade Nude. It is so creamy and so beautiful. It just glides beautifully on the lips. Now when our lips are aligned, I'm gonna use this liquid uh, lipstick in a shade uh, more matte. It's actually in a shade adorable. And I'm gonna put it in the center. In the like, like this to blend it. gorgeous and just to show it to you how I love the um, the lip glosses I'm gonna put this lip gloss on top this is the applicator and just look at this shine mm, and it smells like caramel how cool is that has really beautiful golden reflect Again, this is a ridiculous lip gloss in a shade She's all that When the face is almost done, I want to add some more bronzer because one, once you're done with your eyes, you can see if you need to adjust the intensity because our eyes are pretty bright, so I'm gonna put some more bronzer. I don't have any Milani powder, but our concealer is pretty matte and it seems like it's staying just fine. Now I'm gonna spray it everything once again with Make It Last Finishing Spray. Ooh, so fresh. So this is the final look and I paired some rhinestones on my eyes, I think it spiced up this look a little bit and I'm in love with this look, I love all the products, everything works so beautifully, I love how my skin looks and yeah, let me know in the comments if you ever tried any of these products or what products from Milani brand would you recommend or what brand you want me to test next. See you guys, bye!